Arriving in Paris in 1754, the 23-year-old Madame de Raybon began her lifelong career as a spy. She dealt in secrets, trading favors and information with government ministers and foreign ambassadors. But from the moment she entered the city, she was watched by the Paris police. Secret agents followed her through the streets, listened to her conversations, and intercepted her mail. And she was not the only one under this type of surveillance. Indeed, the police kept tabs on nearly everyone who entered the city. Long before the totalitarian ideas of the 20th century, or our modern digital reality, the police of 18th century Paris were in the business of mass surveillance. My project uncovers the system of surveillance that blanketed the city. I asked why it was being done, and what it meant for the people being watched, and in doing so, I've uncovered the 18th century origins of the surveillance state. In the case of Madame de Raybon, the police correctly suspected her of espionage, and even hired her servant to inform on her clandestine activities. Now, despite this, she was never caught. But for the many others under surveillance, this system was so omnipresent that the famed intellectual Denis Diderot remarked that, quote, within 24 hours of arriving in the city, the police will know who you are, where you are from, who you are talking to, and why you have come. Indeed, I am uncovering the 18th century origins of the surveillance state in which the Paris police archived the daily activities of tourists, diplomats, and spies like Madame de Raybon. And in reading through this vast collection of archival documents, I found that the police were intensely concerned with a threat that foreigners allegedly posed. And what's more, I found that this surveillance incited resistance and even violence amongst ordinary Parisians who were either subject to the system, to the system themselves or forced to co cooperate with the police by spying on their neighbors. Now, remember, this is not just a piece of historical fun. In our modern world, we are increasingly aware of the presence, the dangers, and the threats of mass surveillance. But this is all too often characterized as a modern phenomenon, akin to the government reading our emails, listening to our phone calls, Facebook, knowing everything we do and say, or the current conversation we're having around contact tracing of COVID-19. My project reminds us of the historical origins of state surveillance and finds that they originated not in the 20th or the 21st centuries, but in the 18th. My project also helps us understand why this was being done and what this means for us today. Because remember, Big Brother is always watching.